So here I am. Hey, look, I haven't talked to YouTube in a while. I figure I better get you back, back to my roots. Not the Richie Haven song, which is actually the song. Of the, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, um, so one of the reasons why I started this channel is just to chronicle, you know, it's like a memoir, you know what I mean? So that's why we don't monetize. I hear that YouTube is trying to think you're going to put uh, co commercials on your stuff anyway, YouTube, man. Um, and uh, also, I uh, 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 I do it, you know, just to, well, well, you know, well, to chronicle my life, you know what I mean? But it's for archival purposes only. I'm not trying to monetize this. It's creative comments, blah, 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 blah. But this is not the important channel. Listen to you. In this in this thing, you go to the playlist that says interviews. That's the one you all should be listening to. Okay. Anyway, I got to do some certain things. Little, not housekeeping, but stuff. Oh, first of all, you know, I'm still on my water kick, you know. Mm -hmm. In fact, they had to purify waters at the jugs, whatever have you. See, I, I got a jug. A jug. Let me show you. I got a jug right there. See that jug? See that jug right there? That's that's a jug. Jug of water. You don't see it? You don't see the blue thing? Yeah. See, that's a jug of water. That's the drinking water that I use. The thing next to it, that pail and the oh, there we go. Hey, let's do it this way. Okay, so this the jug of water, right? This pail here has water that comes from the tap outside from, uh, I guess, uh, the municipality, whatever it is. Ah, and that's why, you know, I, I used to cook and washing and stuff like that, you know? Uh, so anyway, so we got that, oh, I better show the, the flag. No, it doesn't matter. Flag up there. Oh, by the way, you know, uh, I, oh, so many things. So I got the foundational black American, you know, uh, the Tariq Nasheed merchandise, right? And, you know, so you got, you know, foundational black Americans in there. You know, little Frederick Douglass did, John Henry Clark. What is that? It looked like Martin Luther King, uh, Harriet Tubman, Francis Cress Wilson, Ida B. Wells. I like them all, you know. Plus, I like the color, you know. Uh, look, Tariq, <laughs> what I do for Tariq? There's certain people like Tariq, uh, uh, the B-1 Brigade. You know, I listen to them. They, they sometimes have information, you know, Tariq much less so, but, you know, important if my historical information, you know, but most of the time they're just cracking on people, you know. And it's not part of my personal code, right? And plus they always, the people always talking about some beef with somebody else, you know, like like they beef with, um, you know, uh, what the uh, uh, American descendants of chattel slavery, you know, uh, that I use for, like, what do you say, my, um, uh, like my political head, you see? But I really go by, let, let me just put it this way. There was a, um, there's a thing it, it, in, in a tradition of who do you follow as far as these these people. Like I, I go from a line from say say Ida B. Wells to Paul Robeson, you know, to Zora Neale Hurston, James Baldwin, uh, Ella Josephine Baker, you know, like that. But right, right on up to who do I got? Oh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. That's where I want to tell you about. Now, here's the way I do Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. The toilet compensatory concept, whatever it is. What I do with him. His, his, his broadcast, his transmission is every Tuesday, right? In the States, it's Tuesday morning, whatever. Have you. So I get it maybe Tuesday night, the next day, I, you know, because I'm here in South Africa, I just get the, the YouTube, you know, rebroadcast, whatever it is. And, um, but what's interesting is that I use him as, like, if you take away something from somebody, you got to give him something else, right? So all those people that go to, you know, to, 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 to hear the preacher on Sunday, you know, what, what is it? They, they preach out of the same Bible and then they just different stories out of the same, the same, the same Bible, the same, uh, the same scriptures. Let's put a script. Let's call it scriptures. It's the same Bible. Let's call it scriptures, right? I think this thing is still skewed. Let me just get a little bit. Oh, oh there we go. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, so, with, so with his, uh, what I do with his book, you know, the compensatory concept, um, I use it as a Bible, just like he says, you know, you open up sometimes, you read some stuff that makes it interest to you, blah, 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 blah. But he has these other codes. Every every Tuesday, it's like seeing going to your preacher every every Sunday or Saturday or Friday, whenever you go talk, you know, listen to your spiritual guy, you know, or uh, your motivational guy, you know. And I think if everybody took up his, his cause, if everybody took his scripture, then we could end racism right away. That's, that's my theory, right? Because everything he says is like, I, you can't argue with it. But he, he did a program this last, I think it was the 11th, whenever the, yeah, this last Tuesday. Uh, right now I'm recording this one with the, 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 
what let's say the thirteenth or something like that. Okay, that's and my my niece's birthday is tomorrow. My sister's birthday is Sunday. So I better do something. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, but he went and this this past broadcast was like every it's like everything that concerns me that that I think it was it was a a, a, a quintessential broadcast. It was a. a uh, uh, a broadcast. If you, if you get this broadcast, you sort of have everything he says. He just sort of puts it all into these two hours, right? And so I think it's really, really good. But, but there's this thing that he said. If he has his, he calls his religion, if you call it religion, but his spiritual belief as eclectic pluralism, right? Now, interestingly enough, I follow like deist, you know, and they're both sort of like the same thing, you know. So so. I don't have to adjust my my religious my you know how to say my, yeah my religious beliefs because he and, and he anyway he does stuff in his stuff if you have to listen to him you'll see the collective pluralism what he said collective pluralism he gave it to, uh, somebody asked him about that but what does it have a god you know what I mean and he was uh, basically saying well his god let me see what it what it, what he, I wrote it down uh, his god is both the the, the uh, is both the known and the unknown. You know, it's like the, the, the both things. I, I came to my uh, sort of thing of God is like when I was taking a uh, philosophy as well as logic classes um, down in uh, in the 70s. And uh, I come to the thing that, you know, I believe in through lines. So it's like God is a through line through everything. Everything that has a vibration has God. As a, the, the vibration is God. If you vibrate, you're part of the, you're part of the, the universe, you know, the God universe or the universe like that. So it's sort of like the same thing. One of the one of the things that did come up uh, with this with this particular broadcast, and I, uh, I could have sworn somebody said this a long time ago, but but sometimes things just come and you sort of resonate at the particular time. Well, he went and and a uh, 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 sister called up from Rochester, New York, named Monica, and she says, "Well, you know, some I think she said just talk about her library because she doesn't know about all libraries, but in her a library, you no, know, you you could order a book and it could be on the shelf. You know what I mean? And, and they'll if they, they don't have it on the shelf, they'll, they'll, they'll basically order it for you. So the compensatory concept from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book is, you know, uh, people can order it for their local library so it could be in the library. I remember one time I was living in Somerville, New Jersey. This was also in the in the late 70s. And um, what happened was uh, uh, a Henry Duma, a couple of Henry Duma books was in my local library. How did it get there? Somebody... Put it, got, got it, got it there. Had to, had the people purchase it or something like that. So, if you want to spread the the code of Miss Neely Fuller Jr., which is in the tradition of, of Dr. Francis Crest Wilson, right, on there, um, then um, then all you gotta do is just do some simple act like that. And it's really fascinating because uh, people like 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 I said, like Tariq and stuff like that, they're always cracking on somebody, saying things. But well, part of his code is like. They, people say what they say. You don't have to comment on what they say. They ask you about it. You can ask about the situation if you if you want to comment. But if but you can't speak for John Henry Clark. You know, John Henry Clark spoke for himself already. You know, if you want to know about what John Henry Clark says. Then you no, know, he's he's online. You know, he's got papers. He's got books. He's got you know. So you can whatever whatever whatever. So that's why I really like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. and 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 the traditions and stuff like that. And I really wish that everybody would because see the thing is. When you listen to these YouTube channels and stuff like that, and these commentaries, they're basically taking up your time and your energy, right? So I whittle my stuff down to a few, a few people. I listen. Well, if it hasn't been on in a while, but you know, but you know, I listen to Jimmy Dore for entertainment purposes in the in the in the, in the, politi in the, in the big time political field. That's pretty funny, uh, you know. But there's some you know, I listen to James, the, the Corbett Report. You know, there's certain things I get for, for information and stuff like that, and just going around, but not a whole lot of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm just dedicated to certain things. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is going to be dedicated to a few things. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is definitely one of the things you should be checking out. So I just wanted to give you an update uh, uh, about what's going on with that. Here's my book for, uh, uh, or here's my Dimbaza work. Oh yeah, so so what I've been doing is is, is my Instagram I've been doing the Dimbaza work and the stuff that I do with the with the workshops and stuff like that. I'm putting on that on Instagram and little uh list little things like on that. But on my YouTube, I'm gonna stick straight to a uh, stay back to just interviews and um, just chronicling uh, uh, my life if you wanna put it that way. So just do 
a little update for you from me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>